Man, man, I'm working at the moment. Look at this. I got, I got my um, my timeline editing on the screen. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's pretty cool. Work setup. See that. So the work setup is pretty work setup. -y. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> you know, I was watching the episode of Loki, like the last episode of Loki season two, episode six. Where Loki, like, he becomes, like, spoilers alert. If you're watching this video, it's no fucking spoilers. He, but Loki becomes Yggdrasil, and then like, he becomes the owner of Yggdrasil, and he, like, he makes the, the world tree or the universe tree, and then, like, he connects all the timelines, and, you know, he's he's ultra powerful god of time, and, you know, he fills his destiny in the comics, and he's, he's ultra powerful, yeah, you know, he, he controls everything, right? He becomes, he remains. Okay. And I was thinking to myself, like, why the fuck are you doing this? Like, you did it once, you got it all together, Keep it together, and then go about your business. Like the Loki in the comics, he was like, he made a clone of himself. He made like some other, like other motherfucker do his work, and like, you know, Victor Timely, or oh, he remains Kang the Conqueror. He, you know, he, he, he was human at the end of the day. You know, he only had so much ability. He had so much ability to rely, rely on his his robots at the end of the day. Like, he had, he relies on ultra advanced technology. He's not a god. It relies on magic and extraterrestrial fucking powers. Loki is like under the celestials at this point, man. So let's be honest, perfectly honest with you. He's literally under the celestials, like Galactus. Loki versus this current Loki versus Galactus. It would be close, bro. Loki would smoke him. He would just like go back to the time when like, Galactus was a fucking baby, like, or waiting for uh, until the time when the universe was about to end and you just smoke him like even 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 the thing powerful galactus the world eating galactus he would smoke like less realistic loki is this character now within all that power within all that you know kingdom whatever he wanted burdened by glorious purpose like he always liked to say with all that he's still fucking lonely like who, who gives a shit holy crap man just <laughs> Yeah, I, can, I don't know if I can find them for you. No, they're probably going to copyright me, but... Um, yeah, I just want to make this video saying, like, guys, don't assume too much responsibility. When you... Unless you're a CEO, you're an you're ambitious entrepreneur, you, you know, you, you want to be in that position. You understand the sacrifice, you understand the payout, you understand the repercussions, and you understand the, pos the potential benefits, then sure. But if not, like, guys, fucking do what you need to do for yourself. <laughs> Holy shit, like, Loki, like, all his friends are just living their lives now. Sylvie's probably gonna find another guy. I don't, I don't know, like that, but, like, it's just, just waste. And it's kind of weird, it's kind of, it's really weird to see. Because when I, when I was watching the episode, I didn't watch the episode, I watched season one, episode six, thinking it was the last episode. And, like, weirdly enough, the episode brought so much clarity into it. It's, like, it's just weird. I was thinking myself like, bro, there is no romance between <laughs> there is no romance between Sylvie and Loki anymore. It's actually like it's actually like crazy. I was just thinking to myself like even more like Loki sacrificed everything for this. But what does he have in the end? He has no family. Asgard is fallen. His brother has one eye. No, his brother got his other eye back. His brother's making shit movies. For Love and Thunder. He could have met Eternity the entire time to figure out what the fuck is going on. I'm sure he knows what Eternity is. He's a fucking Norse god. Just a bunch of whiff laugh doodle. Dude, ah, it's all bullshit. Well, boy, wait, this current Loki is probably more powerful than Odin, a, a prime, whatever. Like he controls all of time. I don't think you guys genuinely understand that. Like, Odin comes and swings. My son, I hated you all this time. You're a frost giant piece of shit. Pause. Like, come on, man. Like. <sighs> Loki, Loki's tweaking, bro. In the end, he doesn't have his friends. Ooh, he cried to Sophie in the fucking bar. I just want my friends back. Do you even have them? 
you may you just draw on. As soon as I saw I knew it was you just draw on. I think it's fucking season on YouTube. I feel like that's like the most basic Norse mythology. The war tree. And the nine realms. Make you extra. You know all powerful god. You went through a character arc. And you're alone. You're alone in the beginning and now you're alone again. It's full circle. It's full circle. I think about myself like, bro, I've been alone pretty much for like the past year plus. Me and some of my friends here and there, but like, I don't really resonate with them. For our place. Or because I am our place. Even gods get lonely, huh? I know it's just a fiction depiction, guys, not real, but. Good fucking show. You know, part of me. And I think a lot of people experience this stuff as well, and. I mean, you might experience it as well, and. This is understandable. Part of me. Sees everyone's grinding. All that suffering, all that turmoil. He learned. Uh, he learned advanced mechanical engineering. He learned. He learned f uh, everything: physics, engineering, literally everything. He succeeded. When you go back to square one and realize, oh, I haven't succeeded. Don't really want to kill my ex. And then, you know, Kang calls him lover boy. I just kept thinking about think a fucking Drake meme. You know, you know, for fun, you know, that 21 Savage Drake meme, yeah. yeah that's fine. Or Yeet Drake meme, I don't know what it is. You know, a lot of guys experience that, that very low, desperate mess period where you're just trying to fix things, trying to make things right. You're in your grind phase, you're in your hard years. And it is most certainly annoying. I'm not going to lie to you, it is annoying. Like, what have you done to suffer so much? Why do you deserve so much suffering? You don't. No one does. What is the reward for all of this? What is the reward for all of this? What's going on? There is no reward. Think about the absolute height of your potential achievement. Are you satisfied with that? Are you fulfilled? So you're, let me say that you're Elon Musk wanna be. I'm getting tired of talking because my brain's not used to fucking thinking as much. Say you're an Elon Musk wanna be. And you don't, you don't make it. You don't make it. Let's be real. Let's be realistic. This is the most realistic you think I could probably possibly tell you. You're an Elon Musk wanna be, you don't make it. You're 60, 70 years old. You're too old to work, but you're too young to die. You're a billionaire, you've gone through multiple girlfriends, you've done, you've done the thing, you've done a whole loop. Self-improvement, physical shape, money, girls, states, everything. But then you said you wanted to be an Elon Musk wannabe. You became your own individual. Let's call you fucking... Let's call it, no, Joe Schmo is an insult. Let's call you Joseph Smothy. <laughs> dumb shit. Let's call you Joseph. You're not Joe, you're Joseph. You're the complex version, right? You choose everything you want to be. You're a billionaire. You're beginning your safe space development. Let's be realistic. You you might continue Elon's fucking work, bro. You might that, that's the most realistic shit as well. You might continue his work. But you're too you're too old to work anymore by the time it's all said and done. Decades of your life just like evaporate. You have no successor. 
And if you do, you're in cryo sleep now. And you have to fucking patiently wait in cryo sleep. And I don't know what cryo sleep is like. It could be you're fully conscious the entire time. It could be you're, you're, you're sleeping, literally. Who knows? I don't know. Let's say you're a boxer, you want to be world champion boxer, undisputed. Many, maybe you want to beat Manny Pacquiao's record, what it, whatever it is. Let's say you do it. Are you satisfied then? Your know, boxers retire 30, 40. There's still another 60 years of life, almost. Double your lifespan. Like you've lived so far and you've already reached the height of it, the glory of it. You know, I looked in the mirror, and I was unrecognizable. I thought about that fat version of myself in the past, and I'm like, I think I'm lower in body, body fat percentage now. I think I'm like 20-something body fat. 20, I was like 25% body fat before, roughly. Now I'm like 20%, or maybe 19%. I'm, I'm, I'm reaching much lower thresholds of body fat. And I was just thinking to myself, I could see my fucking pecs, biceps, and like it was bigger than ever before, and, you know, the pump feeling. I was thinking to myself, like, why do I do all of this? Genuinely, why the fuck do I do all of this? I don't feel comfortable in, 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 in instant gratification, degeneracy. I don't feel comfortable, you know, wasting my time around. I kind of like TV shows, but like, select few. The good shit, not the bad shit. I don't watch anime, I watch low key and I watch Invincible. I'm watching Invincible at the moment. It's fucking on my laptop. My computer is dedicated to just a video editing. Most of my, my days are spent in work, work and training, work at home, work and reading. Why do I do all of this? What's the end result? Will I just end up like Loki? Powerful but alone? If so, then who gives a fuck? Look at this cat playing. Oh, so cute. Keep looking at him, actually. One insane content. Picking my nose. I'm not gonna do cocaine. Turn out. That chair is fun. I'm just trying to genuinely think, like, why, why, do, I, why do I continue? Like, what the fuck is going on? <sighs> What's going on, man? You know, I ask people often, like, what reason do you keep going? What reason do you keep fighting? Like, in boxing as well, like, why do you keep coming here? It might be, like, disrespectful almost, but, like, what reason do you box? What reason do you do this? What reason do you do this? And I get a, I have a multitude of answers from well, multiple different people, and I think to myself, like, a lot of people just genuinely don't fucking know what's going on. This could be you. This, could, this is definitely me. Be everyone you're looking around. The scope is limited because people fear what will happen if the scope is large. Oh, this cat is fucking. <laughs> yeah. at me <laughs> I just threw over there 
Let me just tweak it over it, bro. <sighs> Take care of your loved ones, guys. You never know how long they're gonna be here for. This cat is driving me insane. Bro, oh, play with it outside. What the fuck? What are you doing? Play with that outside. <laughs> oh my god. That's entertainment for him. Nobody bored at home all the time. I'm working. I want to get to play with him. What do you feed him? Catch you guys next video. Peace. See you.